is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another two-in-one WWE Elite action figure review, and you're probably wondering, Brad, why the hell do you have one Legend Series figure, one fan takeover figure? Well, I'll explain it right quick. This is the only one I pre-ordered. You know, I think that Diamond Dallas Page and is it Brutus the Barber Beefcake? I think those two are online exclusive or something like that, and I did not order Vader. Like, I didn't get this in person. I pre-ordered it because it's John Cena. You guys know I love John Cena. I want to add it to my timeline there so I just have the one and then this one unfortunately we never got X-Pac I'm still waiting on my X-Pac figure so I was gonna keep this guy mock I've had this for a few weeks now probably like three weeks but I wanted to wait until either I got X-Pac in hand or another figure I ended up getting John Cena so I figured why not go ahead and throw them both into a review and just shut the hell up and dive into it guys so if you guys didn't know this John Cena is Target exclusive and this Christian is Amazon exclusive if you guys were wondering pretty good stuff right here completely different packaging I wouldn't say completely different but you got the same elite style packaging you get different logos for the front there front viewing windows images of both talent there on the back you get the fan vote there and you get a little bio read about John Cena unfortunately this is probably our last Christian WWE elite figure for a long time I mean who knows if we'll ever get another one you know who, who the hell knows at this juncture however it would have been really damn nice to see the WrestleMania 20 attire win and it came in third place like it was so close this vote was so close WrestleMania 20 32.9 Money in the Bank 2011, 33.92, and then Edge and Christian, 33.18. We already have an Edge and Christian. We already have a Christian from around this time. Why didn't the Ruthless Aggression Era win? Ridiculous! Of course, you have John Cena there, images of the talent there, and that does it for our packaging, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at John Cena Legend Series 10 and Fan Takeover Series 2 Christian. All right, guys, so here's John Cena and Christian out of their packaging. Of course, these two do not come in a set, and both of these are pretty much just repaints, right? Like, we've seen these in the past, but it has been a... I'd say it's been quite a damn while since we've gotten the last prototype-esque John Cena and since we got our last Christian figure. So what we're going to do, guys, is run through John Cena's accessories first and then John Cena, and then we will run it back and take a closer look at Christian's accessories and Christian. And actually, the, 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 now that I'm looking at this, man, it's kind of crazy that Christian is an like active wrestler right now for AEW. W, man. We're going to get an unrivaled figure of him, aren't we? Aren't we? Alright guys, so getting into John Cena's accessories, let's go ahead and dive straight into it. Okay, so with every WWE Mattel Elite, we always get interchangeable hands, right? We've seen these all before. I don't think we get anything new here. So you do get the infamous mic-holding hands. The other one is in the figure already, so if you guys were wondering about that, there's our mic-holding hands. Of course, you can't really have John Cena without you can't see me hands. Even though he really wasn't doing the you can't see me, he did slap the dog shish out of Kurt Angle, even though this isn't really a slappy hand. It could be used for that, even though he didn't wear this gear. You get the point. You get the slappy slash you can't see me hand and then you get the double fist. So you love to get fist with your figures. Now, not only interchangeable hands that we get, guys, but we also get two interchangeable head sculpts. Now, I guess I can use this time to go ahead and cover our head sculpts. You will notice that mine is a little bit warped right here on the jaw, which I can fix. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but this is our prototype John Cena just with, I think, true effects applied to it and the hair color and stuff is a little bit different. So it's a little bit different and then his prototype Toys R Us exclusive figure. And then we have the Elite 76 John Cena head from the Firefly Funhouse. You know, kind of an updated serious Cena from WrestleMania 36. So that's pretty cool right there. Even though this head is based on WrestleMania 35. So, you know, you interchange this to give him that look that he had from that match where he was like going through the time travel. But if you guys want to switch it out, you go there and then you just take this and you just... That sounds terrible, but it's on there, and I like that. I like that for a kind of an older look for Cena there. It looks pretty good. I'd like to see somebody take this head sculpt and just whack off all the hair and then completely sculpt, like, mid-2000s, you know, like 2005, 6-ish Cena hair. I think that'd be pretty cool, but there you go. Put the original back on there. And then for our other accessories, we do get a Scratch logo microphone, which is so crazy. Like, it's like they're so inconsistent with this. We either get, like, a modern wrestler with a Scratch logo or we get, like, a throwback with a modern logo on the mic and then we'll get this where it's a scratch logo with a modern figure but also a flashback so I don't I don't know you know what I'm saying it's like I flip it over and it's a modern logo Dean baby fam apple flam and our last accessory is the boss man puppet accessory which I did we get this with the firefly funhouse bray I think we did maybe it's it looked a little bit different I want to say we already got it yeah I think we already got it but it may be a little bit different if we did I don't have it right here beside me to compare it but pretty cool accessory nonetheless 
That's such good shit. But that does it for John Cena's accessories. Now diving into the John Cena figure, I feel like it's out of focus or something. What's up with that? Anyways, we already kind of took a look at the head sculpt, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. You do get pretty much the base John Cena. It is the larger torso instead of the more modern torso that they use nowadays with the shorter shorts mold, but we do get this from time to time, as you can see here. Nice jacked arms on there. He is in his prototype gimmick, you know, when he first got caught up to the main roster or, you know, that kind of sounds weird for back in the day, but you got the orange and blue trunks. Very unique attire. I mean, good God. It looks like New York Knicks. You got freaking New York Mets. It's pretty uh, not a good attire. You got blue wrist tape. You got the blue stripes on the orange biker shorts. You got the blue knee pads and then the tall orange and blue boots with the black outsoles. You know, it's just a plain Jane figure. You know, if you're a big John Cena guy, I'd say definitely track it down. And this thing actually has pretty good posability to it. Like, I don't know if anybody wants to run this in their fed, you know, with John Cena looking this way. I've never seen that because it's, uh, you know, it just kind of looks god awful. But yeah, if you'd like to do that, you can do that. But John Cena is a kind of a plain Jane football figure. So for your John Cena figure comparisons, guys, we're going to compare it to the Toys R Us exclusive prototype John Cena right there. It did come with the US spinner and the WWE title spinner. And I remember getting that thing mock when I first got into WWE Elite Collecting. And I've always loved that figure, man. I really wish I would have kept it mock. I kept it mock for like a couple months, I think. And then I said, to hell with this and just crack that hoe out of the packaging. And here we are today. And now I have like seven of them for no reason. Well, it's to make customs like this. But as far as priorities go, man, you know, it's just not that important to me. Eventually one day, I guess. But there's our comparison. I low-key kind of like this one better than that one. Am I tripping? I mean, I think this moment's bigger and stuff. I think I like this version of the prototype John Cena better. You guys can let me know what you think down below. So for Christian's accessories, guys, you get kind of like the bare minimum kind of, or not like the bare minimum. That kind of makes it sound bad. You kind of get like what you want out of uh, out of figure accessories. You know, you get the cloth t-shirt, you get the title belt, you get the interchangeable hands. Maybe an interchangeable head would have thrown it over the top, but as far as interchangeable hands, out of the packaging, he comes with interchangeable choke slamming hands like Finn Balor, which is really weird. I don't know why they give these guys choke slamming hands. It just looks really odd. Like it, it, it looks like they're doing like a claw or something. Nonetheless, outside of that, you do get pointer finger hands for your Christian figure, which always look nice. We've seen these in the past before. And you get the Johnny Gargano like going for a handshake. You get the ricochet Kawhi Leonard hands, if you will. You get the, you know, put this over your forehead so you can look across the sea. So, I mean, you get all these kinds of, uh, you get the idea. That's not how that works. Outside of that, guys, we do get a World Heavyweight Championship that we have seen many times in the past. We have seen a World Heavyweight title a million times, so nothing new going on right here, but I always enjoy getting one of these. Wish they'd bring this title back. Can you imagine Roman Reigns holding this thing? No, you can't, because it's too beautiful. Next up, we have our cloth t-shirt, which is the Hit the Switch shirt, which we've never seen before. You do have the blue color, the Hit the Switch little graphic there. It looks pretty nice. I'm all for a cloth accessory, cloth t-shirt. I'll never complain about a cloth cloth accessory man this is uh this is beautiful right there so cloth hit the switch shirt very nice color too it looks just like the t-shirt i don't own it but based off the back of the packaging it looks identical so that does it for christian's accessories so diving into the christian figure man i think a lot of people want to get a good look at this head sculpt now i don't know what's up with my camera i feel like it's not really getting it okay that's a little bit better there and you guys can kind of see i don't know i feel like it's pretty solid but i feel like maybe the nose shape is a little bit off or something like that i mean i definitely see the likeness to christian don't get me wrong i like the hair sculpt and everything. It just looks a bit, uh, a little bit wonky. I used to like it a lot more, I think, until I'm just now seeing it up close. And then it kind of loses it a little bit. But nonetheless, I still like it, you know. I still think it, it you know, it, it favors Christian for sure. We still get the Christian mold. It's pretty much, you know, Daniel Bryan torso, Christian legs. A lot of people use these legs for Benoit customs and stuff like that. You do have the purple and white gear with the crosses on the sides and the C's and then the words going around the banner there. And why do I feel like we've seen this exact figure with a different head sculpt and, like, different accessories. Am I wrong? I feel like we've had purple tights Christian. Now, for our figure accessories, not accessories, you dumb jackass. For our figure comparison, we have the Elite 11 Christian, and low-key, I kind of feel like this has better likeness. Am I wrong? If they were to just true effects this, I mean, I'm glad we got a new Christian head sculpt, and, and, like, and this will be the only way you can get this head sculpt, though, which is kind of crazy, but it's, uh, you know, the same figure, except the tights have the purple logos. This is a different t-shirt than the Hit the Switch one that you get. You do get elbow pads, which is kind of surprising. I do want to put the Hit the Switch shirt on this guy so we can see exactly what that looks like for all you guys out there that want to see 
what the Christian looks like with the t-shirt on. And there's the Christian with the hit the switch t-shirt on there. So that's all fine and dandy and good. That's good. Good stuff. But anyways, guys, I think that is pretty much going to do it for this two-in-one WWE Elite action figure review. Again, I'm sorry they're not from the same series, but hopefully you guys wanted to check out the review anyways. I really, really appreciate it. Overall thoughts on it is, uh, you know, if you wanted to track these down, you can get the John Cena, I think, in stores. It's hitting stores all over the place now, along with Vader. And then the Christian, I think, is on back order, possibly. So you may want to just go ahead and put a pre-order in. I don't know if you'll, you'll, you know, you'll ever get it, because I don't know about his demand and his figure and Mattel and restocks and all that BS that could go down. So who the hell knows, man? But overall thoughts is they are skippable. But if you don't have a Christian, you know, it's been a while since we got a Christian and you have a chance to get it, I would say grab it. And then as far as John Cena is concerned, I think it's worth the grab if you missed out on the first prototype there or you just want, you know, to grow your Cena collection. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into a random shout out. It's going to go to Braden Loader, who says, you got to love when MDT pulls out the Family Guy references. And absolutely, Brad, you know, I like Family Guy. I, I love Family Guy. I love animated shows. So, you yeah, know, I love Family Family Guy, The Simpsons, much, much more, many, many more shows than that, but just kind of naming off the, the first two right there, but also Braden's uh, little avatar photo there on YouTube is also a show I love, American Dad, Roger, good stuff, don't cross the line. You cross the line.